Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Heretic. And on this episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, I was told the patch was coming out on Monday, and it didn't come out. It's Tuesday morning, and it hasn't come out yet. I wanted to get this uploaded uh, as soon as possible because I haven't had a video for the last couple of days, and there's a couple of reasons for that. I did do a, a video earlier this week where I explained that I was going to be out of town on the weekends, and I was going to try to cut back on a few of my episodes here and there until all of the computer supplies came in. They didn't all come in yet. I did get my graphics card. I went ahead and popped that sucker in. A beast of a graphics card. That thing is like freaking amazing looking in. Uh, it's actually improved quite a bit the performance of my computer. Unfortunately, not on this game. So, uh, there may not be a huge improvement once we get the whole computer together. We'll have to see. But I went back on to the last game that we had with all of um, the huge pieces and the blocks that we had. Still massive lag on that sucker. So, we're going to try some challenges because I don't really like doing videos with just tons and tons of lag on them. And the challenges look kind of cool. There's a few of them here. You got flying, racing, and sumo. Don't know what sumo is at all, but we're going to try that eventually. We'll get through all of them. But I think we're going to try with racing to start with. And terra firma sounds interesting. Flat out sounds even better. It's going to sound like probably like a giant flat terrain that we can build like the fastest bot that we can possibly come up with. I think that's the one we're going to go with because I suck at hover. Those of you who have seen me uh, try my hand at that know that is not something I've, I'm very good at. The hill hopper sounds kind of good too. That might be interesting to try out. But let's go with flat out. And you can load from community or you can load your own tech. I think we're going to start a new one. So if you guys don't want to see me do a whole bunch of building, you're more than welcome to kind of skip past all this. But, uh, you know, for me, I like doing this stuff. So the challenge is a checkpoint time trial. Build a tech and see how fast you can complete the course. So let's go ahead and continue. What are we going to do this out of? You know what? I think we're going to do this out of Venture Blocks because I think that's going to be the best bet for us. So let's put this stuff on here. Mm, yeah, we're going to do this. And, oh, yeah, we're going to put these on here. Oh, holy crap, guys. That's cool looking. I like that. So let's see. Can we put these? No, those are going to need too high. Okay, so we can go one more down here. Let's put this over here, and then we'll put these. Now, it needs to be it needs to be a little different, like that. And I wish... Is it skin tight? No, it's not. There's a little bit of gap in there. I wish it was actually... They would, like, merge into one another, and you could have both of these, you know, pushing down to keep your bot from flying or anything like that. So let's see. We're going to do that. Uh, where are we going to put the wheels? I think we're going to go with these wheels right here. Because the small ones, they're really, really fast, but with all of this weight on here, I think we're going to need the extra extra strength to really get this thing going. So let's put this back here. Oh, we can't put that back there. Okay. We need to put something on that. What do we have? Oh, crap, guys. We have some boosters here. Oh, we're, we're definitely going to use these boosters. Okay, so these are going to go over here on the side. Now, these are the Venture ones. These are the Venture Little Stud Pulse Booster. A powerful pulse booster jet in a small package. Now these things do need a fuel tank of some sort. So where are the fuel tanks? Oh my god, these... Oh, we actually have a fuel tank. That's what I picked up right off the bat. These Venture Large uh, Compressed Fuel. A highly compressed fuel tank which will refuel relatively quickly too. Okay, so we can put both of those or one of those on both sides. It seems like a good idea. We need to... We need to be able to put the wheel back here though. Can we not do that? What if we move it up? No, we can't move it up. It's going to have to go back one more, I guess. Let's let's go back one space and see if we can uh, we can attach the wheels to that. Yes, we can. Okay. So that's going to be good. Let's put these here. If it will allow us to put them on the top. Yep. And uh, we're going to put these over here on this side. Okay, so now it can move at the very least. I kind of want to do a little bit something else. I want to put some... Oh, you know what we can put? We can put this thing on here. I don't exactly know what it does. I've never used these things before. This is a Venture Big Boy Spoiler. For your inner boy racer, this will keep you grounded at high speeds. Okay, so it's going to work in reverse of a airplane wing. It's going to force the air in a different way so that the, uh, the pressure is pushing you down instead of up. So you get uh, you know pressure down instead of lift. 
which, uh, you know, could be good depending on how fast we go with this sucker. Don't really have a lot of boosters on it yet, so we need some bigger ones, like this one. Holy crap, guys. That is a huge freaking... What if we... What if we get another one of these blocks? Put it up here. Can we attach it to it? We can. Unfortunately, that might make us a little bit back heavy, but we'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully it does not. Ah, getting a little bit of lag there. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I wanted on a video like this. I want lag everywhere. <laughs> I do apologize, guys. I have no control over that yet. Hopefully at some point I will. Now, we do have... Oh, we have these guys. Okay, so if I put a whole bunch of those on the back, I think that's going to lessen how much weight is there and maybe not send the back or the front... Uh, you know pointing straight up so I'm gonna leave them off of the front so the front is as heavy as it possibly can be and the back is just a little bit lighter than it probably should be which is good that's how I want it so we're gonna do that what can I put over here on the sides I could put another booster there I could put another engine another fuel tank maybe I think I'm gonna go with a fuel tank I think that's gonna be good because really don't have a lot of fuel on this guy so Let's see, we can do a fuel tank here and a fuel tank here. may not look very good, but it's all about how it works. And we'll see whether this is going to be good or not. I think it's going to be fairly decent. But let's let's give it a go. Boosters! Yes, come on, go! Come on. Oh, why am I going to the side? Is it, oh, holy crap. We were doing really well there until I turned. And then uh, not so much. Not so much with this... Uh, with the turning capability, that's something he... Oh, man, this guy turns fast and not in a good way. Like, this is this is hard to control. Now, I'd never make a bot like this in real uh, real game because you're just waiting to be exploded. Like, look at this stuff. These are some pretty big explosions if they hit one of your fuel tanks. In fact, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's, let me read the description on it first. GSO popper fuel tank, a small fuel tank to supply the boosters okay so we can get rid of that and we can put on the big sucker this one right over here I've never gotten this one in the game to be honest I actually got the GSO big papa fuel tank a large big daddy fuel can okay so it doesn't really sit on our guy exactly the way I would prefer it to but uh, you know it, it it's working what if I put this here and grab another one and put that over there on the side. Can I move it over one more? No, I guess I can't. I guess it doesn't want to sit over here. What if I do this? I'll attach it there. Put it there. Okay. So now it sits over there. I just hope it's not too heavy off of one side. And then I can grab this one over here. Do the exact same thing. Take that block off. Every little bit helps. And uh, we can even put one or two in the center as far as our fuel goes. I think we actually have more fuel than we really need, so we need to put some more boosters on this thing. If we can find the space for it. Where could we put some boosters? Mm, nowhere, really. I mean, I could move this off to the side, and we could put a booster in the center. But I think that would mess up our our center of gravity although I don't really see the wind really getting back here with so many fuel tanks here so that could be a problem that we we might run into I don't know we'll, we'll try it out we're we're gonna go one more time and see if we can get a better speed on this 120 miles per hour is pretty friggin fast but you can see this guy is pretty heavy so let me get lined up and we'll try it again oh man this is gonna be awesome okay just do not turn come on go go speed rocket Come on, you can do it. Uh, what's my current speed? 109. Well, we got better time, but we did not get a better speed. So I think I am going to do away with one of the... Uh, actually, let's do away with the small ones. Let's get those out of the way. Not that those probably weigh all that much, but we'll put those out there. We'll even get rid of these. No, that's not what we wanted to do. <laughs> well, we have infinite number of those, so we can pick some more up. So let's put these over here, and we'll pick up another engine. Where's our engine? I wonder how much these things cost. Like, we're just picking them up like they're nothing, but I bet they're pretty freaking expensive. Okay, so we got these going. Now, I need to put more boosters on here. That's... Oh, you know what? We can put boosters down here. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Let's see. We are going to grab one. Where are they? 
We'll grab this and put that over there. Now, these are... not I don't even want this. What? Why did that pick it up? Ah, oh, that's a lag again, I guess. Let's put this over here. And, uh... What can we put over here? Like, there's a spot for something, and there's just not enough room. I could take another block, put it right there, and do the same thing over here on this side. And then I could put boosters on that, and I think that might work. Because we have the fuel for it. And I just took off a whole bunch of fuel, so I'll probably end up regretting putting all these boosters on here and just be like, I don't have enough fuel. But I want to get rid of some of the weight. And these big, heavy canisters right here weigh a lot. And now that I have so much weight up here, I think it's all right to throw uh, these little hover pads on there because that's going to it's gonna take off a little bit of the weight of the fuel tanks. Come on, let's see how we can do this, guys. Wish me luck. I I'm hoping to get higher than 120. What we may end up having to do is just create a bot that has almost nothing to it but a booster and some wheels and see if we can get past that 120 mark. Yeah, because this, this is as high as it's going, and we're actually running out of fuel here. So we could do it with a little bit more. Yeah, so bigger is not necessarily always better. Okay, so we'll put a couple more fuel tanks here in the center like we had it before, and we'll try it again. But I think we've pretty much reached the limit of what we can do with uh, with a bot this size. Uh, it's just it's too big. So we can make another one that's a little small. Let's pick that one up because I don't like it being over here and possibly getting over in my way when when we come back and stuff like that. So let's put that there. And we could put some over here. No, we. You know what? I bet we could put some more boosters there. No, we can't. Can't we? No, we couldn't put another booster there. But we could put these things down here no not enough space I guess because the, the boosters in the way already well we'll do that then we'll put one on e either side and this will hopefully allow us to continue with our boosters throughout the entire match instead of just uh, you know three-fourths of it not that that's really gonna shave off a lot of time I don't think it's gonna beat our seven minutes and 74 seconds score but we can try it um, move it move it can do it oh we're making a good time here guys we might get under five no six seconds oh man dang not quite we ran out of we ran out of uh of fuel there even with all of these little things on there it's amazing the bigger ones are so much better at it just a few of those versus having uh the like a whole bunch of the little small ones doesn't seem to really add up so i would almost say change up your bot and create you know, one with uh, with more space so you can do the double ones rather than all these little single ones. Let's see, where else can we put stuff on? You know what? I think we're just... Yeah, we're going to scrap this one. Let's, let me go ahead and pull off my main base if I can find it. There we go. And we'll put that down. You guys can sit right there. Okay, so we're going to come in here. And <laughs> I should clean up all of this mess, but I'm not going to. So we're going to go with the small one this time. Let's go with these small wheels. Uh, right there. We'll put one in the front, one in the back. I think that's going to be enough. We're trying to make sure the weight is as low as we possibly can make it. And I think that will not only will be incredibly hard to, the, to control, but is going to be the best for us. Okay, so what are we going to do here? One booster, maybe? Let's try one booster and one fuel tank right on the front. Uh, I guess that's going to be okay. And we'll put this right here. Speed Racer! Oh, yeah. Check this out, guys. Holy crap. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to get this lined up before we even go across the finish line, because look how fast he turns. I'm already getting hurt just being over here. Okay, can we do it? Okay, I... I oh, my God. I cannot make any turns while doing this match. It has to go perfectly straight, or I'm not going to finish in, like, <laughs> 120 or 30 seconds. If that, so let me see if I can just inch it in that direction. I think that's gonna be fine. We'll try it out. Wish me luck, guys. Oh no! Come on, I'm too front heavy. What if I get rid of this thing? Okay, so that was actually tilting me down a little bit more than I needed to be. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I think that would have went a whole lot better if I hadn't messed up right at the very beginning. So let's try that again. Let's, uh, oh, you know what? We can pick up that fuel tank 
just so it's out of the way. And I think we could actually use another one. Ugh. Now we need that thing in the front again. Let's go pick it up. See if we can find it. No, stop it. Ugh. Okay, well, you're going out of here. We're not, we're not doing that all the way back. Especially if, if this was a real game, I would totally do it. But considering I can just pick up another one of those as soon as I get back over here, there's really no advantage to dealing with the hassle of getting back to your base. Ah, there we go again. You guys. Always something. You gotta, like, balance it out. Otherwise, you just run into issues like this. Let's drag this guy over here. Nope. Not gonna do that. We're gonna put that on here. Okay, guys. What do you think? Let me, let me try it out over here. Let me just give it a whirl to make sure we don't flip over. Oh, we could do that, too. I just want to make sure we don't flip over. Nope. We're still flipping over. It's still very front heavy. So what if we go back one more. What do you think? I think if we put one more one more square on it and go back a little bit more, we might have a little bit more control over it. I mean, yeah, for sure we're going to have more control over it, but I think uh, the weight alone will help us. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more wheels just for the added weight. I'll move this sucker back. Uh, yeah, that might work. And we can put this booster at least on the back of it as well. It's getting a little bit bigger than I hoped it would, guys. Uh, not exactly what I thought when I said let's just make a, you know, a very minuscule, very, uh, you know, efficient but small bot. So let's, let's give it a try. Holy crap. What is wrong with this thing? Like, I'm just going around in circles. Why is it going around in circles? Like, all I'm doing is pushing straight, and it's still going around in circles. Yeah. As soon as that booster goes off, it's so uneven. And I bet it's the booster on the bottom, because we weren't running into this issue before we put this one here. So let's go ahead and grab that one and throw it off in the distance. Yeah, look at that, guys. That is so much so much more even until I hit the, the turn button, and this thing turns on a dime. So, yeah, stop it. Holy crap, 36 seconds for a time? This is this is just uh, you know embarrassing. Oh come on! No, this is not working at all. Okay, so we need to get rid of one of these boosters. Get that out of the way. Let's see how well this works out. Now I think that's moving a little bit better, to be honest, guys. May not have the booster capability of getting there. Oh, come on, why are you spinning around? Okay, we're taking off some of these wheels. Probably should put more wheels on, but I'm going to take them off. No, it's still turning in circles. Why do you want to turn in circles? That's all I'm doing is pushing straight. So there's something wrong with my design. Let's take that off. How about now? No, now you're, you're very front heavy. Dang, how heavy is that thing? I have pieces laying all over my track. This is going to get real messy when I actually have a bot that can work. Okay, how are we going to do this? What do we have to do to fix the fact that the wheels are all funky? Now, I could go one more back and make it as even as possible. You know, two in the front, two in the back. I'll put this here. I almost wish the descriptions had a weight limit on them so they could let you know, like, what they weighed so you could kind of even it out that way. Like, right now, the only thing you can possibly do is just, uh, you know, try to work it out for yourself. And it doesn't always work that well for you. So let's let's put one of these boosters here. That will keep me down. We'll put... Uh, oh, yeah. This is how we'll do it. We'll put boosters here on the side. It even looks kind of cool. I like the way that looks. We'll put a booster there. We'll put the booster here in the back. What else? We need some fuel tanks. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. But we're going to try it. I think these sit a little bit lower. And they actually look like they match the, the look of the, the bot a little bit more. So I'm going to put those on. Actually, I'm just going to put one of those on, I guess. But we're going to try that. Ah, this is like a definitely like a speed... Oh, come on. Here we go, guys. Uh, Marty's still stuck in the, the speed boost time. I didn't go through over here. Well, at least it's going straight. Well, no, it's not really going straight. It's going a little bit to the left. But not, not so much that I can't handle it. In fact... The handling for this thing have gotten dramatically better since we put those pieces on. So it does show that the more weight you put on it, the, the faster your bot seems to... Or not the faster your bot, but the, the more your bot seems to respond because it has that weight on there. 
Okay, guys, we're going to set this up, and we're going to give it one more shot and see how fast we can go. Oh, look at the stream of, of air coming off of that thing. We still haven't reached the speed of 120 miles, the top speed. No, we did get a better time or close to it, but no, it's just not quite good enough. I wonder if we go bigger, if we can do better. You think we should try? I think I'm going to try with the uh, the GeoCore and see if maybe we can do uh, a little bot that's that's better. I thought going smaller would be the way to go, but no, it doesn't seem like that actually works out. Okay, so we're going to pick up... How are we going to do this? It just has to be attached somehow. It doesn't really need to be... Uh, you know what? We're going to make it big. Yeah, okay, why not? That's That's kind of what we're testing here. So let's put these big, huge freaking wheels on here. These are going to be freaking sweet, guys. Not going to have to worry about weight with these guys at all. And the size of it will allow me to pretty much put boosters and engines to my heart content. And that's why I left the space there uh, open, because I know as soon as I start putting boosters on and stuff like that, uh, you know, I can really take advantage of that. So let's see. How are we going to do this? Boosters here on the back. Maybe another booster here like that. Yep, that's going to be fine. It's going to be a lot of weight, but we'll get that sorted out. Let's put some fuel tanks up here. Another one maybe right here. Uh, it's still not going to click on there, I guess, but figure something out. We can do some booster, not some boosters, but some fuel tanks here on the side. I like the look of that. Now we just need to figure a way to get a whole bunch of boosters on here. Uh, where are my boosters? Over there on the other side, aren't they? Yep. Okay, so what are we going to do? We can't use those at all, can we? No, but we can use these all over the place if we have the space for it. Okay, so we've got two right there we can put down. And we could get rid of technically some of those fuel containers and put another two down where they are at. Uh, that did not work out right. Let's do this right here. Come on, let's do it. Okay, now on the front, what are we going to put on the front, guys? Should we put one of these uh, propellers? I don't think so. I don't think we should put one of those up there. Let's move these up. And we can put more... Uh, how are we going to do that? Should we put another one over there? Can that work? I mean, is it going to get in the way? I don't know how that's... How that's... Uh, you know, how they function like that. If that's a thing or not. Hmm. I don't know if we should do that or not. We can at least put this one here. What about on the front? Is there anything we can put on the front? We could put, actually, one of these guys on the front. There's no reason why not. Because these other things won't fit. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. We could put that on the front. Uh, leave that there. And put another one of the boosters here. Uh, no, we want to put that right where it's supposed to be. Right there, I guess, is fine. Put that there. And we'll go with one more, one more fuel thing right there. Okay, well, let's try this out. I don't know if it's exactly the design we're going to go with. We may go even bigger than this. It does seem to be moving kind of slow. Okay, guys, let's let's line it up and see how well this goes. Ah, man, we're just going to blow up the first time somebody shoots us, though. Come on, move it. 89. That's as fast as we're moving. We have plenty of... Uh... Oh, we didn't have plenty of fuel. We almost got there. Our, our time is slowing down dramatically, guys. I don't... I don't think you can get very fast with these things. These these blocks weigh a lot. They do allow you to carry more, but not in a meaningful way. I think like this, almost the medium one was the best one we had. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of this so far. I like it. I think it's very cool. You can kind of come in here and design your own bot. Uh, it's almost like the R and D department for somebody who doesn't have the R and D uh, in their pack. You know, if you just bought the regular game like I did and you don't have the R&D, you can come in here and kind of mess around, see if you can figure out, you know, what's the, the best method for you, uh, design a really cool bot. You can even take a picture of it uh, and upload it to Twitter and, up, you know, just put the name in there. I'm just going to put it as N because, you know, I don't want to mess with my, my keyboard. And 120 miles per hour is the top speed. Not technically because this one never really got the top speed. This one, uh, I think, what was the top speed of this one? 80, 90? Yeah, 90 is the top speed, and when it runs out of fuel, the top speed is like 35. Wow, look at that, guys. That is slow as crud. That's not going to work. Hmm. But yeah, very interesting. I like that, and on the next episode, we will have to try out 
some of the other ones as well. So if you want to see me do one in Pacific, like the sumo or the flying, the flying one I'm actually very interested in trying. Although I warn you on that one, guys, I am a new when it comes to flying, even more so uh, on the hover pad one. So if you guys vote for the hover pad, be ready for a lot of aggravation on that one in my part especially because i suck so bad at that i'm just giving you a heads up but uh, it's definitely something to be concerned about because that we need a lot of work we need to do a lot of research and just play around with it and see how well we can get that to work because uh yeah it's not something i'm used to again guys i want to thank you all for watching if you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe definitely helps grow the channel and i greatly appreciate it also make sure to leave those comments down below because i do love hearing back from you and i want to hear what some of your ideas are if you guys have built uh, designs or uploaded those let me know i'll check those out as well and i will catch you guys next time